Okay, so after some thinking, uh, I've redone the list a little bit. Um, uh, we still have our main goal being simple circuit boards, and these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items that go directly into cir simple circuit boards, which I'll work on later. But uh, I realize my power will not hold up for simple circuit production. So I need more power, which means I need more raw coal, which means I need to expand my western front, um, which is kind of sad because I spent all that time making a turret train all the way back to my main base and it didn't end up really engaging with any enemies um, but I mean that's fine uh, I'll take it down um, and then I need to again expand the western front so I can get more rock coal and more of the resources there um, but also in the meantime uh, I can have more efficient raw coal collection um, so what I think I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to redo um, my raw coal mine and try to try fit more raw coal miners in it Okay, so here's my redesign so far. Um, well, it's not this. This is what we currently have. This is my redesign, uh, and it's um, it's tighter for sure. Uh, so I mean, it'll help. Uh, it'll definitely help with the output. So it, it's going to look like this. I also wonder if it's going to pull rock coal out. So I actually need to change these to ash instead and whitelist them. Um, shoot, I'm going to have to whitelist all of them, but I think this is the design we're going to go for. Yeah, so, um, I mean, that was really simple. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to do that, but, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to blueprint this, uh, and, uh, port it over. And that'll help me with my power at least a little bit. Well, this is my main source of power, so it's going to be kind of scary deleting it, uh, but, um, I have to. To, uh, yeah, I mean, I have to, so here we go. Holy crap. Yeah, the yield on my raw coal has fallen so far. A lot of it's 25%. It looks really sad, actually. It's just very tiny. Oh, my inventory is full of stuff. Okay, so I think this is set up mainly right. Um, I did do a test run. Uh, I still have to do the inputs and outputs, so... Uh, let me finish making it real quick. All right, so I think it's done, except for the lighting. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put some raw coal in, and hopefully uh, the system works. Also, I should have saved right before I did that, uh, in case it doesn't work. Uh, here we go. So uh, in total, there's been an improvement of nine mining drills. So, um, I mean, how many do we have here? We have 38 which means we had uh, 29 before, so about a 25% increase in the amount of rock coal. Um, all right, a huge design flaw. There's nothing feeding. There's nothing feeding these burner mining drills. So I'm gonna have to go and redo this whole thing. All right, here is my quick redesign. So I mean. Yeah, I just made it feed itself, uh, and now it's much more tileable. Well, uh, here I go deleting everything again. Hopefully I can do it better this time. Well, um, this sucks. After all that work, uh, I have nine burner mining drills, which means that I didn't make this any more efficient. Or, mm, the word I'm looking for is not efficient. I didn't make it any more dense. Alright, so uh, I made this one, which is about one tile denser, or one tile, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was nine tiles wide, now it's eight miles tied. That's a tad bit, maybe I could squeeze on another burner miner somewhere else. Uh, so once again, for the third time, or second time, or however many times, whoopsie, gonna delete this, and then prepare this instead. Okay, moment of truth with the miners. We have... Okay, we managed to make it one more, we managed to use one more burner mining drill, uh, which is good enough for me. So let's go ahead and uh, clean this up, and then I'll call this slightly more efficient. Okay, so I've finished the inputs and outputs, uh, and it kind of looks like this. Um, I kind of don't like how some of these are a little far apart, um, and they're not all right next to each other like I usually have them. But uh, I think it should be fine. Uh, so let me go ahead and save, and then I will um, I'll go ahead and test it out. All right, and here we go testing it. Mm. 
So far, so good. All right, so two things to note. This is a much thicker block here, uh, and this one is thinner. So we can take these two, which are on hold, uh, and move them over to the other side. So let's go ahead and make those changes real quick. And there we go. So I made some quick adjustments. And now it seems like the rock hole, or these two that were idle on this side, now feed on this side pretty well. Uh, next up, we're going to want to uh, bring the rest of these, um, well, bring, yeah, the rest of this carriage and coal dust that's been backing up uh, into the system. Uh, and we want to connect up our lights that we lost. We also want to add in some lamps um, since we uh, don't have them in, this, in, in the build anymore. Okay, power's been reconnected, and we're sending in all this coal dust in, so it'll get split up here. Coal dust and carrageen, which will get split up uh, and then sent away. This has been full, so that's good. Um, I think the electricity should be kicking in. Eh, sheesh, almost like 45 minutes with no electricity. It's really affected our production as well, I'm sure. But yeah, things will slowly return back to normal. Uh, this carrageen will back up. Oh shoot, we have so much carrageen. And, and a good amount of coal dust as well. But uh, that's good because we were having power issues. Alright, so... <coughs> I mean, it's very interesting. I love seeing this, this perfect mix here. Uh, and the raw coal coming out of the system. Uh, it's kind of ironic that this produces carrageen. Um, but it's kind of lacking right now uh, because, I mean, we can see there, there's very little coming out, uh, fuel, uh, very little fuel going up that way because most of the raw coal is being sent this way. Uh, in other news, though, we do have our, <coughs> what's it called, our power plant. Jeez, uh, it looks so cool when it's split exactly like that. But we have our power plant buffer filling up, so power shouldn't really be an issue. Um, so we might not even need more power, but I still think we do want to, we do want to cut this island off just because there's some resources we need, like, uh, like zinc and nickel. So I think we might cut it off here at this area and right here at, at this spot as well. <coughs> Good. Okay. So our excess is uh is starting to run low or it's starting to run out um yeah so uh we can go ahead and say more efficient raw coal collection done uh it was barely more efficient but upon uh finding larger raw coal places uh, i think it will be more efficient uh, next up i think we're going to go ahead and expand our western front okay and check that out we just got basic inventory size two so now we have another five spaces in our inventory. Um, let's see what else I think could be useful. Reach maybe is useful, but I think the most important thing here is basic crafting speed. Just increasing it by another 20% uh, would be helpful when I'm crafting a lot of items. All right, so I've decided to put the new, the new defense front up here. Um, kind of like right on this wall. So I'm clearing out the forest to make a, a clear wall or a clear line for now. Um, and then I'm just going to put a three thick wall in front of it. Um, I wish I had the northern gate blueprinted or let me double check because I might. Um, oh, I do have it blueprinted. Perfect. So then I could just drag this across. Um, just drag this across like right here um, but I did I did call this overkill last time <coughs> so maybe I should alter it a little bit but all I know is that yeah this needs to be expanded a little bit more okay so I've started building it and it looks good so far um, if I drag it here oh I forgot to shift click Shift click here. Perfect. <coughs> Up and then just keep dragging it towards the other end. And that looks good to me. 
give it a nice wide clearing on both sides. I love how dense the jungle is up here. And yeah, we're going to have to craft way more. Oh, <clears throat> this guy is held up over here. It's because we have him trying to destroy a cliff right now. But that's fine. We don't need to do that. All right. I mean, this is looking good. We should actually go out uh, and, and kill all the biters that are somewhat near this wall, even though we won't be producing any pollution here. <coughs> Still good to get rid of the biters that are here. Didn't realize there's a whole nother island right here. I see a good sized spider nests here. We should clean these up as well. Alright, um, there's more, but I think they're far enough away from our wall that it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I think we need to just keep on crafting turrets um, and keep placing these walls down uh, and just keep picking everything here up. And we're not producing any pollution here and we just cleared the nearby biter, so... I really doubt anyone's going to attack this wall right now. Oh. Let's go make way more turrets and grab more walls uh, and tiles. Okay, it's also nighttime, and I've returned back to my old base, uh, and it seems like uh, we're not having any problem with electricity anymore. Yeah, we're, um, I mean, it gets to about halfway, but uh, otherwise we seem to be doing fine.
Let's go ahead and uh, check out how this gate is doing. There are biters basically right up next to it, <coughs> but they don't seem to be attacking for some reason. Let's see if I can provoke them. Yeah, they, um, <coughs> I guess some scouting parties that uh, went a little bit too far. So yeah, we should do our best to clear them out. Again, I don't like how they're <coughs> they're clearing swaths out of forest. Really, uh, really inconvenient. Again, I want to get that that mod that removes the biter soil, or I'm thinking about getting a mod that removes biter soil, just because I want I want the trees to be able to grow here, uh, and I don't know if they'll be able to grow with uh, yeah with the soil the way it is, you know. Shoot, I'm almost dead. God, the... Sheesh. The biters really grew up to my wall. <clears throat> so I gotta clear them out every once in a while. Good thing I just got all those turret upgrades. Oh, shoot. Okay, I should hang back. Oh, shoot! Right, I can take out this one guy. Alright. Well, my guys are having fun. I should, uh, introduce my companion drone back again. Man, at this rate, I might have to get another two. I might have to have six companion drones following me around. Yeah, because I haven't faced a, a full-on assault yet, <clears throat> and I don't know if I could survive a full-on assault. I mean, this is this is pretty. This is a lot of people. Also, I'm out of ammo, so I think I'm just gonna hold off for now. Um, and just walk up and down and let my companion drones take care of them. They're having fun. Alright, um, I think this is pushed out enough. Plus, uh, I'm like halfway done through crafting what's in my inventory. <coughs> I've crafted a bunch of gun turrets. 20. I mean, I was hoping that'd be a bunch. But I think I'll just sick them on these guys. Um, and then I'll just uh, walk home and uh, let them have fun. But yeah, we could see if the gun range has changed at all for anyone here. No, we still just have our two corporals. <coughs> 